Hi everybody, this is CERN. Um, I've been working on OBS shader filter and I've got a couple things for you. Number one, ever been messing with the green screen for hours because of this stuff? All this garbage? I'm going to get rid of that for you right now. We added a new shader called Remove Partial Pixels. It has a percentile, a percentage. Um, so you can say right now it's a 75%. Set it to 5% or remove any pixels with less than 5% alpha. If I put it to 25%, it gets better. 50 is probably good enough for most things, but I really get annoyed at green screens that are a problem, and I set it to 80% right there. So that's going to be pretty helpful, number one. Um, but there's more. I want to show you the next thing. And this is this is a uh, Luma burn that is coming out in Stream FX, uh, but that's not even what I want to show you. What I want to show you is this: Exceldro came up with a upgraded version of the rounded rectangle shader for your webcams. Here I have it on after the green after the green screen removal so it claps down just around me to create like a stroke effect and when I saw that I thought well you know what that might not be what he intends for it but it's a cool effect so if you put it before the green screen um, you know you'll get a border and you can round it or you put it here. Now, when I saw that, I thought, well, you know what people are going to really like? They're going to like if they can apply a gradient to this. So I upgraded Fire Shader, Simple Gradient Shader, Gradient Shader, um, basically all of those types of shaders that I could think of to allow something called um, Apply to Specific Color. So now we can do things like this. This is the RGB color wheel. So now you can have a border around your webcam or around yourself or a stroke or whatever. You can add multiple strokes and have different effects on them. So you can add RGB. You can add fire. Um, you know, I think people will really, really like that. So hopefully, hopefully you will get a lot of enjoyment out of that. I think that's... The, I, I included Exceldro's version of the rounded rectangle shader in the OBS shader filter. I added an extra option to allow you to to change the percentage um, of alpha before it um, that it wraps. Uh, other than that, I just attributed it to him. Good job, and it really inspired me to do more. And I think it's fun, and I hope everyone can uh, find uses for this stuff. I really think people are going to like being able to have a gradient border around their stuff. Thank you.